Cargo is an outstanding German science fiction film that draws inspiration from many genre classics for its ideas and visual style, but uses these forebears to create its own unique, fascinating experience. In the future, Earth is ecologically ruined, humanity has relocated to enormous space stations, and the wealthy live on the idyllic planet Rhea. Laura Portman enlists as a medic on the cargo ship Cassandra to finance her trip to Rhea and live with her sister Ariane. They are supposedly transporting construction materials for a station under redevelopment as a transportation hub, but when strange deaths and occurrences happen on their long journey, Laura and the crew are forced to question their mission, the Earth's habitability, and even the existence of Rhea. Cargo reminds me of Avalon in some ways, and Avalon, as you may already know, is one of my favorite films of all time. Both films are intelligent, slow-burning works that excel in immersive atmosphere and having their characters and worlds develop together in a symbiotic relationship, rather than one taking precedence over the other. As mentioned before, the atmosphere in Cargo is incredible, mostly due to the deeply ominous sound design, the dingy, run-down locations, and the mounting distrust among the crew. The acting and dialogue are superb, the characters are simple but engaging, and they all, except for Yoshida, the electronics expert, who has hardly any lines, have interesting, well-defined personalities and motivations. Another similarity Cargo has with Avalon is how it creates a universe and then steadily deconstructs it with clues and revelations. I love films that do this, and Cargo is a highly compelling watch because it really puts us inside the mind of its protagonist, as the film challenges everything Laura and we thought we knew about its world. Cargo is a slow but enthralling film, and the simmering tension emerges from the dangerous stowaway lurking on board, the shady motives of Laura's fellow crew members, and this intriguing process of breaking down our certainties. This film made me constantly question who Lindbergh and Decker are, what they are really up to, and the true nature of Rhea, which shows how engrossing it is. The CGI doesn't look real, often resembling a video game cutscene from over ten years ago, but it still looks nice and brings to life very cool spaceship and space station designs. I also like how the Cassandra spaceship feels both claustrophobic and gargantuan, and the spacewalk sequence in the climax is beautifully done. I love all the allusions to other science fiction films throughout Cargo. The general ambience and the strange artificiality of Ariana's messages are reminiscent of Andrei Tarkovsky's Solaris. The unpleasant cryogenics technology bears more than a passing resemblance to the cryosleep in Alien, though much messier. Laura's drudging shift routine and the shabby rooms in the ship also bring to mind Alien and Moon. The sloppy, unappetizing food and this spinning compartment shot recall 2001 A Space Odyssey, and even the icy cargo hold, harboring a hidden enemy, brings to mind the thing. But Cargo is still an original film, as it takes these inspirations and applies them to new ideas and storytelling contexts. Not everything in Cargo adds up. Laura and Decker's romance is underdeveloped and out of place, and unlike literally everyone else in the crew, we can't care about Yoshida's death because we don't know her and she only has two or three lines in the entire film. I also think that Cargo didn't quite reach the note of paranoia that it seemed to be aiming for. But otherwise, I loved Cargo. Cargo is a clever, riveting film that, without giving anything away, contemplates issues of corporate control, cover-ups, and the ethics of a comforting illusion, and has great performances and often striking visuals. Cargo earns four and a half stars out of five. Thanks for watching. Cheers.